Yeah, I bought another truck. And uh, this is the new live stream truck. As you all remember before, I had a big red truck. Well, as you can see, this one here is a lot bigger than that. So let's explore my uh, new to me at least, 2016 Ford F-150, the new live stream truck. Let's get started. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Rough Rider Show YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. So, yeah, that's right. We got ourselves a new F-150. Well, at least new to me. This is a 2016 F-150 with the Lariat package. And also, it has the Super Crew package, which is the larger inside cab which is what i wanted and at the same time we got the six and a half foot bed which is what we need because if we're going to be traveling around doing air shows and whatnot <laughs> gonna need all the space so this also has the sport four x four package where it's got four wheel all so if i wanted to drive around and four wheel drive all the time i can do that it's also got four high and four low Unlike my previous truck, my previous truck only had four high and four low, and then two wheel. This has four all. So if I want to just be four wheel drive all the time, you know, with Ohio winters, we're going to need that. <laughs> so anyway, here's a good look at the back. Like I said, it's got a backup camera. It's got a blind spot detection system. We'll go ahead and open the back of the bed. Why not? Unlike my previous truck, the tailgate would just fly down. This one actually assists me. <laughs> Here's an inside of the bed. I took the papers out. So six and a half foot bed, plenty of space. And then at night, if you need a nighttime view, there's a button right here. There's some lights. Can't really tell because it's daylight, but there's two lights there. And then there's a light up there as well. Nice. So we'll take a look at the back seat. Now with the Lariat package, you also get this. The floor steps come down. That's what really sold me this truck. <laughs> All right, it's starting to rain a little bit. So we're gonna quickly uh, do the engine section. So I'll show you the engine. We'll pop the hood. Hello members. Let's that go up again. <laughs> there we go all right so this is a 
3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. So unlike my previous truck, my previous truck was a 5.0 liter V8. This one's a V6 with the EcoBoost. So it's got a turbocharged EcoBoost. Here's what the filter looks like. So yeah, that's the engine. So we'll go ahead and close this. That's where the front looks like. Now with the Lariat package, you get a lot of things in the inside as well. Oh, and this has a bed cover too. So if I ever needed to put the cameras back here when we're traveling for air shows, I can throw them back there. I don't have to worry about them getting wet. Just like my previous truck. Then not have to, well, previous one did not have a bed cover. All right, so let's go inside. So this is a keyless entry system. So you don't have to have a key to hit the button. It's one of those ones where you just walk up to the vehicle, put your hand there, truck unlocks, open the door and the floor step comes down. So here is what the inside of my new F-150 looks like. Floor steps going up. By the way, there's our members. Hi, members. They're watching me film this in real time, which if you want to do that, consider becoming a member. That really helps me out with the channel as well as help me afford things like this. So anyway, this is what the driver's seat looks like. This truck has 95,796 miles. So again, not a brand new truck, but at least new to me. So it's got automatic rear folding mirrors, which is a standard with all the Lariats. In fact, you know what? I'm going to roll the windows up because it's starting to rain. Don't want anything to get wet in here. <laughs> uh, so here's the button that you press if you wanted to fold in the mirrors. You just click this. A nice feature that I didn't have in my previous truck. Then you just press it again and the mirrors will go back up. <laughs> and if you wanted to adjust, you can use these arrow keys here as well. Uh, this one's got a full on display. So it's not a digital gauge. These are actual um, or physical gauge. These are digital gauge. So it's all part of the screen. So you can see the gas and the engine temp and all that percent oil live engine hour idle whatever so with the lariat this thing also has a couple of other packages it's got the towing package as you can see it's got uh, trailer assist information so it tells you trailer status towing status even though i'm not actually towing anything right now towing information trailer light status there's no trailer connected connection checklist I mean, you could go through all of that if you wanted to uh, power distribution, so you can watch that in real time as you're driving. Or you can check out the off-road status if you're going off-roading for some reason. So that's cool. And as I mentioned uh, before, this has two-wheel drive for all, for H, and for low. This is very useful for the winter time because uh, we're going to need four-wheel drive all the time. My other truck had four-wheel drive. It only had 4H and 4-low. So 4H is not really designed for all the time driving, but 4-all is. So that's good stuff. Here's the trailer backup assist. So if, if you're backing up a trailer, you just use this to steer. Helps you with that as well as uh, this. The trailer control. Uh, plenty of space. I mean, look at this. I'm almost all the way back. But plenty of space. Here's how you turn on the lights. And you can move the gas pedals forward and back with this button. So the if you're a shorter person and the seat's all the way up and you still can't reach, you can move the pedals up to you or, but, or behind more. There's the brake. That turns the headlights on and off. And as well as your fog lights, which is here. And then this also turns the bed lights on. The lights that I showed you earlier, That that's this button here. Uh, another cool thing is these mirrors have side lights. So at night, if you're trying to shine something over there, can't really tell. Well, you just turn these on. I'm not going to turn on now because it's daylight, but there's, there's lights on both mirrors, which is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> 
and obviously steering wheel I, I won't go over all this because this is a standard vehicle you know volume you could take calls whatever cruise control all that good stuff you guys know that uh plenty of room the shifters down here instead of up here if i open this there's a little mini light in there. You can store whatever you want in there as well as plug in a USB or whatnot. And you just kind of brush just the satisfying closing, right? Here is the cup holders. Plenty of space to put something in or if you need to put like a book or whatever. And if I move my laptop. Sorry, members. Got to move you that way. Plenty of space in here. I mean, it's insane. There is so much room in there. There's also paperwork I don't want to show, but it, there's a lot of space in there, regardless. Uh, as you can see, here's the back seat. Got my Pop-Tarts, always got to have that. And those can go up and provide even more room. Uh, rear sliding glass window, which is what I really wanted. So you just click this and the window opens. No sunroof in this one, unlike my previous truck. Oh, uh, let's see. Then it's got the Sony sound system. Won't really play it for you because I don't want to get copyright striked. But this is Ford Sync 3. And this particular truck has a map or a navigation. I got made fun of a lot. <laughs> that Just use your Apple CarPlay, which this does support. But I like having my own truck map. I just do. So it's got a map. Of course, it's got... FM, AM, Sirius XM, and a CD. If you wanted to get a, I don't know, you wanted to put a disc in, you can do that right down there. And then, of course, Bluetooth, which is my phone. But I usually, I'm an old school. I listen to FM radio. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of apps you can add on this thing, but I don't have a lot on here. But you can add apps. There's a climate control uh, you can change like, you know, the sound of the base, navigation, the clock, the phone, general, the display. You can turn the display off or make it nighttime. Display off. Auto dim. Ambient lighting. Whatever that means. That's interesting. Vehicle. If you wanted it. So if you don't have your keys with you, but you still need to get in the car, there's a key code that's right here on the door. If you ever wanted to reprogram that for whatever reason, you could do that right here. But you have to put in the previous programmed code if you go to change it. Now, if you're buying this F-150 brand new for the first time, or maybe it was never changed, and you want to know, well, what's the code? I don't know what the code is. Well, in your glove box, if you pull out the manual, which is right here, comes with all Ford trucks. If you open all this up, you know, the, the code is located right here on the other side of this. I don't want to show it because I don't want anyone knowing the code to my truck. But if you ever need to find out what the code is, it is inside right here. And, of course, all your manuals and whatnot for the truck is in there as well. Glove box has its own light, too. Put that in the right way. There we go. So, yeah. That's about it. You know, this is the uh, Lariat package. I got leather seats. I've uh, Leather seats was a thing I've kind of wanted. It's got heated and cooled seats for the summer and the winter. So that's awesome stuff. Let's see. I think I pretty much covered everything. There's sink three. Well, I guess we could start it, right? Return it window up so you can hear it you can do some throttling <laughs> you can really hear that eco boost activating in fact, if you wanted to see what your EcoBoost status is, uh, if I remember how to do it, uh, let's see. You can actually view the turbo. There you go. So watch this. 
<laughs> it's not going to do it because I'm driving, but I barely used it. But you can monitor the turbo if you really wanted to. <laughs> so like I said, it's a push start button, which is kind of cool to have. Yeah, so that's really about it for the inside. Where their sunglasses go up here. And then if you wanted to program a garage, you can do that automatically here with a button that's already in this thing. And then there's the mirror, its own light. Oh, there's us, hey. But yeah, we'll go back outside and finish up this review. So another thing I forgot to mention is this also has remote start. This is what the key looks like. So it's just a fob. You got the tailgate button, which this unlocks the tailgate. This is a remote start, and obviously you got your alarm button. So if you wanted to do remote start, you just press the lock button twice, then press and hold. Right now it's a warm start, so <laughs> not going to be as loud. Anywho. All right, so I had to move out of the way because I had an Amazon truck going down the driveway. But anyway, that is the new live stream truck. So thanks to everyone's support from all the air shows we've done. Really helps a lot because, you know, my other truck, it's getting up there. It's getting old. 2011, you know, it was time for an upgrade. My other truck started leaking oil. And, you know, I wasn't really trusting it going a long drive. In fact, when we got back from Virginia Beach, um... I had uh, almost ran out of oil on the way back home. Had to go and refill <laughs> the oil halfway here. And I used that as, all right, I think it's time to get a new truck. But man, is this thing gorgeous. It's a dark red. It's what I wanted. Do I miss the uh, 5.0 V8? Kind of. This is a smaller engine. It's still got torque, though. But nothing says that V8, though. But people have their preferences, you know. I'm still getting used to driving it. I've only had it for about three days here. So, but it drives nice. The only really the small issue I had was that this one actually started leaking oil. But that was because the dealer's fault. The, the dealer had, they forgot to put something on when they did an oil change. That's not a fault on the truck. That is on the dealer. Um, there's the fog lights. And in fact, we can actually turn on those lights so you guys can see what they look like. Let me turn these on. There you go. So it's got the daytime well, running lights and the fog lights. What's interesting is why are the headlights blue and the fog lights yellow? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if this was upgraded from the previous owner. Who knows? I, I really don't know. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, there she is. And uh, coming up next, we're going to park it next to the old truck and we'll do a direct comparison. All right, we are now back in the woods. Here is the older F-150 2011. I customized it a lot. Do I miss her? Oh, yes, I do. But I still plan to, you know, she still drives and everything. It's just the thing is she's leaking oil and burning oil. Burning oil happens, you know, when the truck gets old and, uh, you know. But it's also leaking, so that means it's draining faster than you really want to um but you know that's a comparison to the old one versus the new one it's a heck of an upgrade this one's a lot bigger cab and tailgate versus this one it's the cab and a half with the large tailgate but needed a bigger cab but anyway well i think that's going to do it for this quick little video thanks everyone for watching and supporting me for the live stream truck, which is this one here. She's scaring me a little bit, you know, when you're new, you got issues. Don't leak on me like this one is. <laughs> yeah, 5.0 V8, and then you got a V6. All right, y'all. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, our next air show is the Pensacola 
Blue Angels Homecoming Show, which is at the end of this month, early November, which is the final air show of the season. So looking forward to ending the season out with a bang. And thanks everyone for the support and watching us. Consider becoming a member. That really helps me out with the channel, not only with a new truck and air, air show content, but also our 24 seven bird cam stream, which is over there streaming live on the channel. Make sure you check that out. And in the meantime, that's it.